remember when you're doing your builds, the best lumber is free lumber. So I'm back out at mom and dad's taking lumber. I hope that's in frame. If not, I'm just pointing at a pile of wood. Phew. And the reason I'm at mom and dad's, if you haven't seen my simple goat shed video, mom and dad built a house this summer. Whew. And the lumber's heavy. They got a lot of building material and scrap material laying around their house. And I do have permission to use it, I think. I think they watch my videos. I'm technically giving myself permission because if they watch my videos, they know I'm taking it. I gotta cut a few of these down because I think that one board's like 20 feet long. Now, when you go watch my simple goat shed video, don't judge me on the editing. Welcome to the goat house. So, here, I set you guys up over here. Come on now, I got this fancy tripod. This thing's supposed to, there we go. It's like the third or fourth video I ever uploaded. I know I'm only like 25 videos in, but trust me, when you start YouTubing, you learn a lot real quick about editing and what's good and what's not, so. It's gonna rain later, so this will be all right. But if you really want to hear from your mommy and daddy, and you miss them, scrape your boots off on their on their new driveway. Now don't worry, it's been curing for like a month. But uh, dad, grandpa, if you don't want me scraping my boots off on your driveway, give me the green light to come get your tractor and spread your dirt. Heck of a tape measure, guys, by uh, Lufkin. I'll leave a link down below, but I love it. Every once in a while you can find them on sale for like four or five bucks, 14 or 15 foot standout. And if you don't know what that means, that means that you can extend it that many feet before it breaks. I got 10 and a half, double sided, that's what I like. You don't really want to make a habit of just screwing right into the end grain because think of this like a cup of straws. There ain't nothing to hold on to, you know, but if you come at something like this, which is called toenailing, it'd be a lot stronger. Uh, that's why people use pocket hole jigs. I have a pocket hole jig, but I just don't need it for rabbits that are going to weigh at best 12 pounds. So it's not necessary. So what I'm going to do is put one in like you're not supposed to just to hold it, and then I'll come back and toenail it in each one. If I'd have pre-drilled that, <clears throat> it wouldn't have split. But <laughs> I don't pre-drill. Here's a little tip too. If you stagger your staples, like this one, let's call it north and south, east and west, it keeps your fabric from shifting, your hardware cloth. But that goes for anything, welded wire, all of it. See, I've got one right here running north and south. So I'll put one of them east and west. And that really keeps that from moving around. not sped up by the way. Get you one of these if you don't have one.
want to show you guys something real quick. When you're working with this hardware cloth, you can buy this in like 24, 36, 48 inch widths, okay? And it comes in tons of different lengths. But when you're working with this, if your angles are straight, which mine are ish, they might be off by a quarter of an inch or something, but if your angles are straight, just run that line. Sorry, there's boys in the neighborhood playing basketball. Just run that line right down your board. See this one right here? Because it really just keeps things nice and neat, okay? I am a terrible example for hearing protection and eye protection. And this is a bad excuse, but it's my excuse. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, grew up around it. Mom and dad built like 20 houses before I moved out at 21. Do as I say, not as I do. Basically what I'm trying to say is treat every tool like it's loaded. So there's no roof on it, but it is 24 inches high. And I'm gonna be able to put some welded wire on the top of it overnight, like I've got right here. But I'm gonna keep them in the garage one more night, just to make sure, plus it's supposed to storm. And I mean storm tonight. So I'm gonna keep them in the garage one more night and just have them in here. And yeah, they're gonna poop and it's gonna get on the ground, but that's what I bought them for, meat and poo poo. So they'll be all right, but this way I can see if there's any weaknesses or anything I need to button up um, before I set them outside uh, more in the elements for sure. Hey Google, turn on the garage door. Guys, these are not the right screws, but when I went to the hardware store earlier, I forgot to grab the right ones. I am gonna put them on the two by fours, so they'll at least be a little bit. And I can always come back and replace them, or I can just throw a little of a little dab of silicone on each one. $50 rabbit hutch. Yep. All the material I had laying in the backyard or out at mom and dad's, but I buy enough material that I can tell you right now, 50 bucks, two by sixes, two by fours, uh, no big deal. 
The hardware cloth I had on the old brooder, took it off, tacked it up here, we're good to go. I learned the ceramic tile trick from Gary and Cassie at Walker Farm Fam. They learned it from Jacob and Alex over at Sawyer Ridge. But basically that ceramic tile, it stays cool even in the hottest of days so the rabbits can sit on it when they get tired of uh, the wire mesh underneath their feet. It's an open air design. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna do is eventually I will give them a little box back there to hide in on that, on that wall. Um, I start to say east, but you guys don't know where you're at, but that's east. So on the east wall, uh, they're going to have a little place to get in and out of the, out of the uh, rain and wind if they ever need to. But up top, $15 for a piece of uh, two by eight vinyl roofing. Now I just tack it down. Really easy, nothing to it. A couple of hinges. The roof is sloped. Uh, it's almost three inches higher than it is in the back. The camera just doesn't show that real well. Uh, but you don't need to quarter of an inch of rise to fall uh, to get runoff. So go outside and look at your gutters on your house. I guarantee you there ain't a quarter inch to a half inch between your longest runs. Food over here, water over here. Um, I'm going to tag a different waterer, uh, just the one that I use. I already ordered it. It's supposed to be here today, but I wanted to get this video knocked out. This one, well, I won't say where it came from, but I'm going to go tell my buddy who runs the big box store that this one is no bueno. So. What I did down here to catch all that good butt fertilizer, have a chicken out. Temperature goes up 70 degrees, everybody's feeling froggy. Check this out, this is my favorite part. So the whole hutch is 48 inches wide, but then these runners that I can drag it around and move it around on, um, they're 45 apart, 44. But this is a tray out of an old dog crate, and that's gonna catch all that good uh, fertilizer that we can use in the garden so I haven't built that wall yet over there to get out of the rain and the weather but it's supposed to be two two days of 70 degree weather so they'll be all right yeah you guys be good stay safe wash your hands god bless don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell deuces